and welcome to the Micro Family Channel. I have finished the Diamond Art Club uh, painting, which I started from, yeah, for approximately, I think it's uh, 14 days ago, and uh, it turned out really good. Uh, I'm amazed about the, especially the lion looks really good from a distance. Uh, and uh, you you can see the hair and on his paws and in the background as I know he looks really really good her dress looks really good and yeah it it turned out like expected um she's uh it's a i think it's a 62 times 48 so it's a pretty big one square drills with the new ap diamonds that you can see here and on her chest as well they have not a sparkle in the same way as the round diamonds do they more shimmer um, it's not the same thing <laughs> so it's a bit um they they add a, a shimmer to the uh to the um, drills they don't they don't sparkle as much but but that's nothing new with uh, the square drills. They don't, sh they sh shine a bit more. They don't sparkle as much as the other ones. But anyway, um, it has been a pleasure to work on. It's been uh, effortless. Doesn't, uh, it didn't uh, cause any issues or anything. So it was really good. Um, and we can just see, I'm just going to turn around and then we can just look at the spare drills. One moment. So I have had them in this container. Uh, this is for, I think, normally for for a hobby room with uh, with uh, screws or pearls or anything. Um, I have started to use those because I up here I have my beaded cross and I bought two of them. So I just thought they were really good to work on, uh, but. <laughs> I needed to tape them, that's why there's tape here, because they put a hole in it. I don't know why they put a hole in it. It says 10, so perhaps it's it's the screw size 10, and then you can match it up by putting it through the hole or something. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> um, another thing is that, that I really enjoyed that sheet that they have... Uh, Put into and here we have the precise it's called no need for words 42 times 63 so it's a pretty big one uh, here is the thumbnail for her so she's pretty close to and i've been really happy about with the, the extra color list because as you can see i've just used masking tape and just put cut the uh, the list and just put it behind the masking tape uh, I like using masking tape because it leaves no residue. It's just easy to pe peel off afterwards and it leaves your containers without any traces or, of glue or something, of excess glue. So that's really nice. Um, as you can see, easy to see through. Um, I picked out some colors, just random, uh, for us to look at just to see how many there are left. And I didn't have any issues. Uh, at all no issues with the colors and as you can see uh, let's see is it easier just to put you down here as you can see there's enough no trash in them uh, so they're really nice they've been really nice to work with another color this is one of the larger colors I think this I think this had three bags and there uh, there's half a bag left so that's really good. And another larger colour here. But again a tiny amount of trash. Nothing that I've been worried about or being annoyed about. Um here are some white ones. Again a tiny amount of trash. Finally, we have the um, AB square dwells. There's a there's a bit left over, so I can use some on another painting if I want to. So yeah, all in all, I've been really, really happy with the painting. It's been fun to work on, uh, and now.
now on to the next one. Um, so I have just recorded a video outside that you can take a look at and then uh, uh, we will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, follow my diamond painting trip and my crusted, beaded crusted strips. So uh, see you in my next video, bye for now.